If you're in an area where Zika is on the rise, this scene could be terrifying. The virus carried by mosquitoes is infecting thousands more than first believed, now prompting warnings that the Rio Olympics should be postponed or moved. While the virus is known to be connected to microcephaly, that is babies born with small heads and brains, what else it might do is unknown. Answers in healthcare often take years, even decades, and the test used to detect Zika is expensive, time consuming, and not always accurate. The world needs a better solution. The search for a quick, cheap, efficient, and reliable test has actually brought us here to Harvard University and its Wies Institute. I'm gonna take a quick look inside this lab. In Zika, these Harvard researchers see danger, but also a solution. We're gonna drop what we're working on and see what we can do in a matter of a few weeks. In particular, see if we could come up with a rapid inexpensive diagnostic for Zika. It was that important? It was that important. We, we realized that there was a world crisis, a growing crisis, and that we had a possible solution. That solution is paper. Each one of those small dots can be used to test for Zika. Here's how it works. The researchers take samples of the virus and infect live cells in the lab. They then remove a section of that infected cell, add it to the paper, and freeze dry it. The test can now safely be kept at room temperature and deployed easily into the field. When it's rehydrated, the cell awakens. Drop an amplified sample of someone's blood, urine, even saliva. In less than 30 minutes, a positive sample turns purple. Having something so simple, so portable, so quick is stunning to the countries now struggling with the virus. When you talk to groups in Ecuador or Brazil and you explain what you've got, what's the response? Uh, great excitement and interest. They're really thrilled both on the low cost, uh, the the, the rapidity and uh, how easy it is to use. And they're eager to get to it and to use it as, as quickly as possible. What is low cost? So low cost here is that uh, each sensor is uh, less than a dollar in cost to make, and it could be as cheap as two cents. It's also much more accurate. Traditional testing relies on examining antibodies of the virus, which can be a problem. The Zika and Dengue viruses are nearly identical. But this test can spot the difference by looking at RNA sequences. It can even identify which strain it is. We could now, with this, identify the difference between the Asia, the African, and the American strains. So these are some of the samples that you can It's also good for testing Ebola, leprosy, even antibiotic resistance. So 16 different spots, so you could run 16 different tests. In fact, the same simple technology holds such promise. Jim Collins and his team are now exploring how it might be used as a frontline test for cancer. The technology was developed with help from the University of Toronto and should be in the field very soon. Once the Zika test is available, if you're the pregnant woman in Brazil anxiously wondering if you're infected, well, results will come in under an hour. David Common, CBC News, Boston.